everybody, it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another chatty get ready with me. If you're new to my channel, what I do is I just put on my makeup and we just talk. That's it. Sometimes I explain what I'm doing and sometimes I don't. So, yeah, that's what it is. And if you are new to my channel and you do like my videos, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. I've gotten some new subscribers lately, so I'm excited about that. So welcome all of you newbies. All right, now let's get started. I've already done my skincare and I've already primed my face. So it's time to get started. My goal this week was to wear makeup every day. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I have got to do it. I really do. I need to use my products, not let them just sit in there. I want to get this foundation used up. It's my project pan. I want it gone. It's been a little chilly here, uh, as in these, some days it didn't get in, even into the 70s. I don't understand why it's so chilly all of a sudden, but uh, I haven't been in the pool all week. So, so much for that. Hopefully, we warm back up. Today is thunderstorms today. Yesterday was cloudy and, and it said scatter thunderstorms, but we didn't get any. Day before that, we got rain. So it's been a rainy, cold week. So I even turned my air off there a couple days because I, I just didn't need it. I didn't need it on, so there we go. I worked all week in my jewelry. Um, I have uh, gone through everything. I have figured out exactly what is craft, what I'm going to sell individually, and what I'm going to put in lots. And I have a lot to sell. I started listing on um, eBay. I've only done eBay. Uh, I need to do some others, but right now I've only done eBay. I've just stuck my toe in the water. And I'll put my eBay name down there. It's I've had this eBay for a few years, and I didn't know I was going to sell. I don't know if I can change the name of my eBay, but right now I'll just put down below what it is. And if you want to go over and look and see what I have listed so far. Um, but it only let me list so many things because I'm new to selling. And then... I think that was a PayPal thing. I can only list so many for my first month. So, yeah, I did. I um, got to take some more photographs and uh, uh, list some things on maybe Poshmark. I hear Poshmark is kind of slower. I buy on Poshmark. I bought this shirt on Poshmark. I bought it from a friend. <laughs> it's my shrimp shirt. It's got shrimp on it. Um, but I bought it from a friend who, uh, she, does, she used to live here. I used to work with her. Now she lives in Raleigh, North Carolina, and she has a Poshmark. And I saw this shirt, and I'm like, girl, I got to have that. So I bought it. I bought a um, Lily Pulitzer tote bag. Um, yeah, just a big tote bag uh, on Poshmark. And is that all? Yeah, that's all I bought. Uh, I've bought some things on Macari, but I bought like jewelry and I did that Macari haul. I won't be doing jewelry again like that from Macari. It's just it was junk. So, unfortunately, the best jewelry comes from Goodwill, I think. I hear ThreadUp has great jewelry boxes as well, but they don't really do those that often. So, I think I missed out on the, the days of the Thread thread up jewelry boxes uh, I did recently order from thread up I got a Lily Pulitzer scarf from thread up and a little disappointed in it it looked like it was one of their really nice scarves and when I got it I think it's one that was a target I mean it's okay I didn't pay that much for it so I guess I got what I paid for, but I was expecting something more, so a little disappointed in that. And I ordered a dress, uh, a Talbot's dress, and it, it hasn't arrived yet. So, 
looking forward to getting that dress. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to wear it, I guess, around the house. I keep telling myself, don't buy clothes. I'm not going anywhere. Except I got an email from my doctor, and she got my uh, test results from when I had my colonoscopy. It's been six years ago now. And she told me I'm way past getting my colonoscopy because they found a polyp last time. So I had to go back in five years. But when I had to go back, it was last year, and I wasn't doing a colonoscopy. So she sent me an email. This doctor's like, my old doctor, you know, he wasn't that much into technology. This new doctor, she sends me emails. Do you want to book this or do you want me to schedule this? And I'm like, oh gosh. I don't really want to do it right now, but I guess I'm going to have to. I've put her off now a couple days. <laughs> I don't mind the colonoscopy. I, I, the prep is not fun, but I didn't mind it. And the actual colonoscopy was a piece of cake. I just don't want to go out. Our numbers here in North Carolina are just, I'm sure you've heard it on the news, North Carolina's one that's just rising. And I, Oh, someone my husband works with tested positive for COVID. He didn't work directly with him, and he doesn't really know him. He said the name sounded familiar, but yeah, he tested positive, so uh, see what happens if more people test positive there or what. It's scary. It is scary. So, he's still working. Monday through Friday and I think next week he has to go on technically like a second shift he'll be working 1 to 8.30 I think 1 in the afternoon to 8.30 at night I don't know if assembly is actually running 12 hour shifts or what they may be so but I don't think they're working, they're not working overnight. Plant shuts down at night. It's not running 24 7 like it was. So, but yeah. I might just have my husband in the mornings. And then, long time ago, I, when he first started working there, when Nathan was two months old. <laughs> Uh, Brian worked second shift, and he did that for a long time. Um, basically, until I, I think he got this job he's doing now, he worked a second shift. So, he worked uh, 3 to 11. Yeah, he was, he was a 3 to 11 guy there for a long time. But, yeah, not, not anymore. Not for a while now. We've gotten used to having him home. Okay. So I've been off Facebook for a, a, a week, maybe. I feel much happier about it. There's so much stuff on there. So I've not been looking at Facebook. Uh, I do go on. I'll forget and I'll see. I'll have so many, like, inquire, what it, whatever you call it. You know, when you're looking on your phone, you see the numbers. I'll click on it and I'm like, oh, that's Facebook. And I'll just skim real quick to see if it was anything important and then I get off. So that's basically all I've done on Facebook. Um, I haven't had a lot of time to do anything working with um, getting in all that jewelry, getting all that situated. And I wish I had. A, another room that I could put all this in. I was telling my husband when we do move, I think I think we need a six bedroom house. I think a bedroom for my husband and I and a bedroom for my son, a studio for my husband, a game room for my son, a craft slash beauty slash jewelry room for me, and then a bedroom for my mother-in-law because I know she will be coming to visit a lot so she'll need her own room 
So yeah, mainly six bedrooms. I don't think we'll be getting six bedrooms, but I do hope I find something with some some more space, definitely. Uh, and I don't know what's happening with that. It's a bad time to try to find a new job. So, we'll just, all that's just kind of on hold. So far, they did not bring back as many people as they thought. Uh, one, because of the virus, and two, uh, they, the contracts. So, I hope it holds out. Today, I am going to use my Natasha Denona Safari palette because I put it in, I think I just put it in my sample stash to use, and I haven't used it. I went to film my sample stash for last weekend and realized I haven't really used anything. I mean, I sat down to film it, and I'm like, I haven't used that. I haven't used that. I, so I didn't even film one. So I didn't have a video up. Um, I'd rather just not have a video up, you know, and because, yeah, just cause. So uh, that's why there was no video up, I think, last Sunday. I just, I hadn't used my products and I needed to, so I'll just wait and then the next time around. I will switch products. I'll give me time to use them. And I am really gonna, really got to put my makeup on. I'm usually very organized, and right now I feel a little flustered. Um, I think that's one of my problems. I do feel kind of flustered, and I've got, I've got my, so many projects going on, and so many things going on at once, and I'm just like, I'm thinking I might need to set aside, okay, this is YouTube channel day. This is jewelry day. This is a day just to myself to do crafts or there's some sewing projects I want to do. There's just, I want to do all these things and I've got so many things to do that it's just overwhelming. And that's just me. I think all that's going on in the world is not helping matters. I hate to see, you know, problems with North and South Korea are a little, that's a little scary to me, you know? I need something to match my shrimp, my little shrimpies, my, my outfit. There's, let's see what I can come up with. Hmm. I think I'm gonna, let me show you what I've done. I put this one all over, and now I think I'm going in with this one in my crease. It's just calling to me and saying, use me. So let's just put that as a transition shade. So... That's what I think I should do, just sit down and I have a planner and I haven't used it again I feel overwhelmed sometimes I haven't used it I need to pull it out and use it and actually plan I need to plan when I do things because I used to be so so organized I used to have my son's um, the homeschooling. I had it all planned out. Everything's written out. I'm, I'm one of these people who has tons of notebooks and I just write in them. I love to just write. And uh, right now, the only notebook I have going, I have some papers for my business. And then I have a notebook for YouTube where I plan out, you know, and thank goodness for that. I have, I need to go in and plan another month's worth of videos. That sort of keeps me on track. So I don't have to think about what, what can I film? Okay, this is what I need to film. I've got it kind of written out, so. And I'm not buying any more jewelry for a while. I'm good <laughs> with jewelry. I have filmed my last two bags I got just this week and they were Shop Goodwill. And I haven't edited, 
edited them yet and they will go up and I will have a jewelry video every Wednesday until sometime in August and I'm sure by then I will purchase more jewelry hopefully I'll sell quite a bit and purchase more jewelry uh, let's see what color do I want to use now I think I'm going to go with, um, I think I'm going to go with Voodoo, that one right there, in my crease. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's going on. Let's see, anything else? happening no I can't think of anything that new house they're building it's gone up fast um, it's a two-story uh, I think it's ugly the house that Wesley built beside me it's a very pretty house I, I, I love all the architectural details he did to it and everything it is a very pretty house this one down here, which is not Wesley. Wesley said he sold that land. Somebody else is building. It looks like a box. It's like a white box with a little porch on the front. Just a little, nothing special porch. It's like, it's ugly. I think it's ugly. I don't know if he's thinking it will be like rental properties or I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he's thinking right now. I don't, I don't think it looks too pretty. And the house beside it, I can't really tell. It's a small, it's a smaller house. It's a one story. And I don't think it has a lot of uh, detail either. It's not very, I don't know. There's no other houses available. All the other houses have sold on the street. So there's no empty houses. All houses have sold. The only empty ones are the two they're building. And I really don't know where... Well, the house across the street um, from the two that they're building, my friend Monica's father owns that house, and there is a bit of land with that house. He has it as a rental property. And I know Wesley tried to buy tried to buy it and Mr. Stafford said no and then uh, so I don't know if anybody else has tried to buy it but it connects directly with his house his property and I think that's why he doesn't want to sell it he wants uh, to have control over that because he has acres and acres of land and a huge house and so yeah, he uh, he's like the biggest house and the most land in the neighborhood. I think his was there before the neighborhood was built, um, kind of thing. But I think that's that looks okay. That looks okay. I'm gonna go into this dark blue right here. I'm gonna use that next. So yeah, that's the only other place that could have house bill other than Mr. Stafford's property which will not happen. He owns some other properties that border his property. So. Okay. I put that there because I am going to use my Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Soleil. And that's going on my lid. That's going to be my shrimpy color. I'll try to blend that a little better. I'll let this dry. I might have to blend. Blend, blend, blend. Got to blend these edges. These aren't so bad. 
blend this a little. I'm going to take that same blue and go underneath my lower lash line. Okay. While I'm thinking about it, because I will forget, because I am forgetful, I'm going to take my highlighter and I am going to highlight the inner corner and I'm going to take a little bit of that highlighter and try to marry these two colors together a little bit. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh yeah, it's okay. Blend with my finger a little. I think that's okay. All right, I'm going to go and put my eyeliner on and my mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Got the mascara and the liner on. Now I'm going to put my bronzer on. I'm about ready to do away with this bronzer. Check out next month's um, Project Pan, and I think I'll be saying goodbye to it. It's ready to go. It has done me well. I'm going to use this pretty vulgar blush. I know it's scary. Look at that. It's not really matching what I got on, but I'm going to go very lightly. I'm just going to barely get any on my brush. Barely. And tap it on my cheeks. I blush easy anyway. My skin turns red really easy. So I have never been one to really use a lot of blush. I think it's because of that. I'm not a big big blush person. I try to be a little more uh, light handed with blush. So if that's true, this will last me the rest of my life. <laughs> And now my highlighter. I'm using Star Island. Back when I worked for Estee Lauder, we didn't even have highlighters. You didn't put highlight on your face. Unless you use a lighter powder, but you didn't use anything shimmery. Okay. Now, my lips. I did plan out my lips. I'm going to do some layering. I got a, my lip liner. This is my BH Cosmetics Waterproof Lip Liner in Endora. I want to show you that. Um, I love BH Cosmetics. I love this lip liner. I don't know if they still make it. The only thing I don't like about it, look how close I am to the name. The, the shade name. I am so close, I'm going to, I will be sharpening that name away. That name needed to be like down here somewhere. But anyway, just a pet peeve I have. I love the name of this, Endora. Bewitched was my favorite show when I was a kid. I loved Bewitched. Followed by I Dream of Jeannie. I love to watch the Beverly Hillbillies. Petticoat Junction. Those were my shows. Okay, now I'm going to use my Tarte Daiquiri. I figure those match my shrimp, and they do. Now, I'm going to take my ColourPop in Bound. This is a glossy lip, and that's Bound, and I'm going to just 
Just going to layer them. I do really like this lipstick, and it sounds like my dog just got into something he's not supposed to. Classic. He did this classic uh, run and crawl under the the coffee table, so I'm going to have to go see what he's got. So let me put my spray on. And there we go. We are done. So guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying well. And guys, I will see you next time.